Come on, baby, we need another piece of the pie. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Science and nature. Oh, you're gonna love this. How many times a year does a penguin have sex? Do you know any penguins intimately? That should be science and nature. That should be gossip. I'll say they do it six times. Why only six times? Do you see what they look like? They live on icebergs. What else would they do all winter? I say 20 times. Bro, they do it once. Once? Jesus, I married a penguin. <laughs> Why don't you get a picture of Eric? I'm gonna pass out, I swear. Someone told me you're seeing a doctor. Is anything serious? Nah, we only had two dates. Four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, Chris, sports. Go the other way. We take science. Two minutes to go. I'm counting down. Do you mind if she asks the question first? Go on, Vera. What does C mean in Einstein's theory of relativity? E equals mc squared. We'll try sports. You can't change after you've heard the question. She picked it on my turn. I pick sports. A minute thirty. I'm counting down. Who pitched back-to-back -back no hitters for the Cincinnati Reds in 1938? Want to take a card to MC Square? Give us a hint. What kind of hint? Is it baseball or football? It's baseball. I'll give you another hint. He has a Dutch name. Dutch Schultz. Dutch Schultz was a gangster. Joe Rembrandt? Is that your answer? Peter Windmill? Is that your answer? 60 seconds of counting down. What is this lift off at Cape Canaveral? All of we need help. I'm coming, I'm coming. Do you give up? Not yet. Bobby Amsterdam, Tony Tulips, give up. You'll never get it. I have to leave by 12. Where the hell are you running? Did I say that when I sat down after leave by 12? Ricky, did I say that when I sat down? I'm really starting to worry about Florence. She's never been this late before. I told Harry I'd be home by 1 the latest. We're making the 8 o'clock plane to Florida. Who the hell goes to Florida in July? It's all season. There's no crowds and you get the best rooms for one-tenth the price. Some vacation. Six cheap people in an empty hotel. See ya. <laughs> Mickey Dice. I hate this game. Did you know Florence once locked herself overnight in the bathroom at Bloomingdale's? She wrote out her entire will on half a roll of toilet paper. Your time is almost up. Oh, we're running out of time. All right. What's the question? Who pitched back-to-back -back no hitters for the Cincinnati Reds? Johnny Vandermeer on June 11th against the Boston Braves, three nothing, and on June 15th against the Brooklyn Dodgers, six nothing. His overall record for the year was 15 wins and 10 losses. I have one second left. Ask me another question. She's incredible. <laughs> you really love sports, don't you? I love big men in tight pants. <laughs> Who had no caffeine, one calorie, neutral sweet Pepsi? I do. One can of chemicals for making the cough. It's warm. Because the refrigerator's been broken for two weeks. So it drips a little. Who wants food? What you got? I got brown sandwiches and green sandwiches. What's the green? It's either very new cheese or very old meat. <laughs> I'll take the brown. You're going to eat food out of that refrigerator? I saw milk standing on the shelf that wasn't even in the carton. What are you, some kind of health nut? Eat, maybe eat. You go get it. I thought you had a new maid starting work on Monday. No, I didn't pass the interview. The woman produces a primetime news show. She doesn't have a maid. Four. One, two, three, four. Science major. Oh, you're going to like this. White closes when a frog swallows his eyes. They close their eyes. That's right. How'd you know that? I went over the guy. I looked like a frog. <laughs> Your turn again. Roll it. Okay, awesome. Let's make a new rule. Every six months, you got to buy fresh potato chips. I do. Eat those until September. At least at Florence's house, you get decent food. My food isn't decent. It's not even food. All right. I'm through being the nice one. You guys owe me six bucks a piece for the buffet. Buffet? Hot dog colas and sandwiches left over from when you went to high school? Three. One, two, three. Sports, again. What did Fort Smith and carry in his hand for inspiration while running the hurdles at the 1908 Olympics? Extra jockey shorts. Is that your answer? I swear to God, if you say that one more time, I'm taking you hostage. 60 seconds and counting down. He carried a Bible. That's right. How could you know about the 1908 Olympics? From Phil. Phil knew more about sports than any man I ever knew. I think we'd still be married today if only I could have won the Kentucky Derby. Don't get that mournful look in your eye. The man lost your entire life savings at the track. Two. Sports and What's the strongest muscle in a man's body? Before or after? You're <laughs> <laughs> still sending Phil money, are you? Not. Nah. Yes, she is. A few hundred bucks, just so he gets his life straightened out. He's been trying to get straightened out for two years. How bent was he? You can't help it. Every time I hear his voice on the phone, I end up sending him a check. He's so good at it, he puts a little whimper behind because he knows it gets to me. I would never support an ex-husband. Not until women are getting equal pay with men. Right. right. Well, you have to look at it both ways. What's sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. You're going to be some big hit in Florida. Do you give up on the strongest muscle with the tongue? That's right. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> four. One, two, three, four. Sports. What's the southern dish made of 
pig small intestine is called? Airplane food. The chip. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, Phil, I was just talking about you. Somebody hide her checkbook. How have you been doing, Phil? You sound good. Tired? I haven't been sleeping much, eh? He's whimpering, this is going to cost me. Don't give in, remember the Alamo. So, <laughs> what have you been doing, Phil? Mostly thinking of me, how oh, that's sweet. We're talking about four figures here. You're in a bind? What kind of bind? You want us to cut the wire? Oh, gee, you owe two months back rent? How much does it come to? A million six. Well, I'd really like to help you out, Phil, but I'm broke myself. I just paid the last two years' taxes. That's it. Hanging girl. Win this one for the giver. I know. I know you hate to ask, Phil, and I hate to turn you down. Hang up. Hang up before his voice cracks. Oh, gee, what's the matter with your voice? <laughs> Don't do that, Phil. All right, I'll send you three hundred dollars. Is that all right? Gloria Steinem hates you. Stop it. Stop coughing. Sympathy is not going to work with me. I'm sending you five hundred dollars, and that's it. You have money to go six fifty. Listen, I gotta go, Phil. It was nice talking. It's what? Our anniversary? When? Next week. My God, you're right. Well, same to you, Phil. Sure, six fifty is fine. Bye. What do you want from me? You sound like orphan Annie in a snowstorm. You send your ex-husband six hundred and fifty dollars, and your best friends give you the Dead Sea Scrolls. I have a fatal flaw in my character. Him. Go ahead and shoot me. If you need it, I have my gun here. What's the oldest young vegetable in the world? You are. There's other men around you, though. You, are. you think I don't know that? There's two Spanish brothers in this building who are crazy about me. The sexiest guys you ever saw. I must be crazy. What am I doing sending $650 to a shipless gambler like Phil? Hand me my purse, I'll shoot him out. Is that your answer? Yes, you're the oldest known vegetable to man. Come on. It's the key. Then you're a runner up. Kids <laughs> they are smarter than us. If I go through all the trouble of marriage and we can just have a roommate, I'm going to start looking on the bus tomorrow. Entertainment! <laughs> what group started the movie Rock Around the Clock? Everybody, all together! Bill Haley and the Comets! Yeah, God, give me one more at the back of the T-Bird. Remember Danny Flanagan? Hot, hot stuff. He wore size 28 jeans on a 32 body. I remember the first time I danced close to them. He kept saying, is that what you think? I got two packs of cigarettes in my pocket. I had to go to confession the next day. <laughs> I always had a pound of grease in his hair. Remember that winter he went outside and his head froze? He had to comb his hair with a hammer and chisel. You know who I thought the kids went to school was? Mr. Schwartzman, the principal. <laughs> Jesus, I hated being 17. Until I asked to be 35, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Chubby Checker Fan Club, hello. Oh, hello, sweetheart. I told you not to call me tonight. I can't talk to you now. You know I do, darling. All right, hold on. Mickey, it's your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were having an affair with him. Maybe then he wouldn't bother me all the time. <laughs> hello, Stanley. Oh, what's wrong? Did you make yourself dinner? Well, what'd you have? Lamb chops, that's very good, Stan. Your husband can make lamb chops? He boils them in water. <laughs> <laughs> Who? No, she didn't show up tonight. What's wrong? You're kidding! Well, how should I know? All right, I will. Thanks, goodbye. What did I tell you? What's the matter? Florence is missing. Oh my god. I told you something was up. What do you mean missing? She hasn't been home all day. She canceled her spa appointment and her pedicure. She never showed up to her yoga class or for her spiritual advisor. No one knows where she is. Stan just got off the phone with her husband. Wait a minute, no one's missing for one day. That's right, if you're missing for 48 hours before you're missing. She loves the Museum of Modern Art, maybe she went there. Maybe she got locked in the museum. I was talked to a security guard there for 20 minutes until I found out who was a statue. <laughs> <laughs> if she had an accident, they would have heard. If she's lying in a gutter somewhere, who would know who she is? She has charged place for 47 stores. If eight hours go by without her shopping, New York shuts down. Maybe she was mugged? Do you know what she carries in her handbag? Tear gas, a siren, and a police radio. If you tap her on the shoulder, a squad car shows up. I don't know. I have a feeling in my bones she's someplace in trouble right now. What are we guessing for? I'll call Sydney. Wait a minute. Don't start anything just yet. Just because we don't know where she is doesn't mean somebody else doesn't know. Is she seeing someone? Someone on the side? Like a hypnotist? Are you on the Valium? Is your hypnotist taking space to keep up with the rest of us? Please, Florence doesn't play around. 
She didn't even take off her clothes when she had her children. You never can tell. It's a different world we live in today. What a man can do, a woman can do. I've never personally done it before myself, but I've gotten the itch once in a while. Admit it, we all have. I haven't. I'm talking about normal women. <laughs> We're wasting time. I'm going to call Sydney and find out what's what. Hello, Sydney? Olive, I just heard. Listen, Sydney, do you have any idea where she could be? She what? You're kidding. No, I had no idea. Gee, that's too bad, Sid. Well, listen, you sit tight. The minute I hear anything, I'll let you know. Right. Goodbye. They broke up? Who? Who? Florence and Sydney, that's who. They broke up. The marriage is over. Don't tell me. I can't believe it. After 14 years. They were such a happy couple. 14 years doesn't mean you're a happy couple. It just means you're a long couple. <laughs> What happened? The man wants out, that's all. She'll go to pieces. I know Florence, she's gonna try something crazy. She's the same marriage last 100 years. What happened? She missed by 86 years. She'll kill herself. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? She's gonna go out and try to kill herself. Mickey, will you shut up? Stop being a police woman for two minutes. All of where'd she go? She went out to kill herself. What did I tell you? Are you serious? <laughs> that's what the man said. She went out to kill herself. She didn't want to do it at home because her mother was sleeping over. Why'd she want to kill herself? Why? Because she's a hysteric! You mean she actually said I'm going out to kill myself, but she didn't leave a note? No, she sent a telegram. A suicide telegram? Wait, if she wants to kill herself, why'd she send a telegram? Because the quicker it gets there, she, the quicker she has a chance to be saved. Oh, I get it. She doesn't really want to kill herself. She just wants sympathy. We get people like that all the time. They crave attention. We have a man who calls us every Saturday from the top of George Washington Bridge. We don't even answer it. That <laughs> <laughs> was the first time. Maybe this is the one time she really needs it. Please, Florence is too nervous to kill herself. She wears her seatbelt at a drive-in movie. <laughs> well, we can't just sit here and do nothing. That's right. Isn't there some place we can look for her? Where? Where would you look for a suicide person who wants to live? Of course. If you're going to kill yourself, where's the safest place to do it? With your friends. I'll let her in. Wait, she may be hysterical. Let's play nice and easy. Maybe if we're all calm, she'll be calm. That's right. That's how they talk to those people out on ledges. Gentle and soothing like a priest. What do we say to her? Nothing. We say nothing as if we never heard a thing. Maybe we should notify the police. What the hell do you think I am for Christ's sake? <laughs> Are you all through with this discussion? Because she could have already died of old age out in the hall. Everybody sit down. All right, ask this question. You gotta roll the dice first, get your category. Who gives a crap with the categories? Just ask the question. My mind is too logical. I can't ask a question until somebody gives me a category. Sports and leisure. Not sports and leisure is too tall. I don't believe this. Should I tell Florence to wait a minute? Movies, entertainment, open the door. Concentrate tonight. Is your favorite category movies? 
I wouldn't know one movie from another tonight. You'd know this one. Name three actors who played Tarzan in the movie. Charlie Chan! <laughs> Charlie Chan! Sidney <laughs> Tolman, Warner Olin, Peter Ustinov. Excuse me. Where are you going? The bathroom? Alone? I always go alone. Why? No reason. Gonna be that long? As long as it takes. Are you crazy? How do you go in there by yourself? How is she gonna kill herself in the john? What do you mean how? She can take pills, she can slash her wrists. It's the guest bathroom. There's nothing in there. What's she gonna do? Swallow a towel? She could jump. That's right. Isn't there a window in there? It's only six inches wide. Then she could stick her head out and slip the window on her neck. She could also flush herself into the East River. I'm telling you, she's not gonna try anything. Shh. Quiet. She's crying. We should do something. She can't just be in there crying all alone. You wanna go in there and cry with her? She's coming out. <laughs> what film did Claude Rains Betty Davis Sister Sister's Cafe Tin. I think we're gonna take a little walk. Where are you gonna walk this time of night? I don't know. Along the river is next. The river? You heard something, didn't you? No! Yes, you're already gonna try something because Sydney dumped me after 14 years of marriage. That dirty bastard has got to go! I mean, since then, 
My sister's married, separated, but married. How about some espresso with Stella girl cookies? How dare he treat me like this? How dare he? Oh, my neck. I hurt my neck. What's the matter with your neck? It's a nerve spasm. I get in the neck. Oh, God, it hurts. What can I do? A towel. A hot towel. Very hot. Um, what about aspirin? Uh, aspirin is good. It's a brandy if you have some. Hot towel, aspirin, brandy. Anything else? Uh, bed game. Rub it after. Right. Oh, Olive. I knew something was coming. I knew we were in trouble. In the middle of the night, I tiptoed into the bathroom and I would pray, please, God, help me save my marriage. Please, God, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Please, God, help me. And then I hear Sydney in the bedroom saying, please, God, make her shut up. Please, God, make her be quiet. Here, put your scarf on. Take your aspirin. I'm not a complainer. I never once tried to change Sydney. He wears a toupee, two sizes too big. He looks like an English sheepdog. I never said a word. I'll get you some brandy to drink it down with. And now he's in the cowboy boots. Five foot, three and a half. He wears cowboy boots. He looks like he jumped off a hundred foot horse. He's also in the languages. He's studying Russian at a new school. And instead of saying yes, he says da. Everything is da. Florence, you're tensing up. Stop tensing. I'm married to a five foot, three inch man with an oversized to pay boots up to his knees. He walks around saying da and he walks out on me. Will you relax? Relax, damn it. Your neck feels like her own Schwarzenegger. Sometimes I think I'm crazy. Sometimes I think I should be put in an institution. Later, if the massage doesn't work. <laughs> this doesn't smell like Ben Gay. You're right, it's toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is helping me. Because you won't relax. You've always been this tense. Since I was a baby, I could chew a thick sewing steak with just my gums. Bend over. I do terrible things, Olive. I cry. I panic. I get hysterical. <clears throat> If this hurts, just tell me because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I abuse our friendship. I know I drive you crazy. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't. I do. I see you grit your teeth together when I talk to you. You said much longer teeth. How's your neck? Better. Good. But it never lasts long. Maybe this time. No, it just came back. Drink your brandy. I don't think I can. It doesn't go down. I'll get you a plunger. Come on, drink your brain. You'll feel better. Thank God the kids are away at summer camp. We'll be spared this until September. Please drink your brandy. Olive, I don't want to get divorced. I don't want to suddenly change my whole life. Talk to me. Tell me what to do. All right, all right. First of all, you're going to calm down and relax. And then you and I can figure out a whole new life for you. A life without Sydney? What kind of life is there without Sydney? I don't live with Sydney, and I'm very happy. You can do this, Florence. <laughs> believe me. Olive, you've been through it yourself. Talk to me. Tell me. What did you do? I drank for four days and five nights. It couldn't work. Ate a quart of Hagen Das Jamoka omelet fudge ice cream every night. Gained 14 pounds. Seven on each hip. It looked like I was carrying my laundry around in my pockets. But I got through it. What about Sydney? He's human too. How is he going to get through it? He's a man. Men have freedom. He can be women anywhere. We have to donate a kidney and hope that the man is grateful and single. You think so? <laughs> What's the matter now? It's sinus condition. I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm not gonna jump. I just need to breathe. I was even allergic to perfume. I had Sydney's aftershave lotion. Old Spice menthol. We smell like a sailboat from Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to open my ears. You create a pressure inside, and it opens them up. marriage. What do I do with the rest of my life? I have so much of it left. If only was 70, 75, I could get through it. I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to start your life over. Stand on your own two feet. Be independent. You're right. Of course I am. That's what I was before I was married. I was a great bookkeeper. Could have been Christ Waterhouse. Go back to work. Be independent. A self-sufficient woman. You're damn right. Maybe I'll ask her an old job back. Why not? Who'd you work for? Sydney. Oh, you got the mistakes I made. Damn idiot, I hate me. She don't hate you. She love you. You think no one has problems like you. You're wrong. I happen to know I hate my guts. Oh, come on, Florence. I've never seen someone so in love. If you had two more likes, you'd take yourself out dancing. I thought you were my friend. I am. That's why I can talk to you this way. I love you almost as much as you do. Then help me. 
How can I help you if I can't help myself? You think you're impossible to live with. Been sloppy since I was a kid. Got buried in a white gown with Coca-Cola stains on it. My mind is into other things. I like to write. I like to paint. I like photography. I don't like cleaning up. I leave a mess after I read a book. I don't do it for myself. I like sitting in a cold and clean house. I want my children growing up having respect for things. How else will they learn? But what's the point of it all? When you're dead, they're just going to throw dirt on you anyway. If only life could change. Maybe I should call Sydney. What for? To talk things out again. Maybe I lost something unsaid. Where's your self-respect? Do you want to crawl back on your hands and knees? He wouldn't notice. He'd think I was scrubbing the floors. <laughs> Listen to me, Florence. Tonight you can sleep here. Tomorrow you'll go home, pack up your sinus medicines and your aftershave lotions, and move in here with me. Will I be in the way? Of course you will. I'm a pest. I know you are. I'm the one who gave you the name. Then why would you want me to live with you? Because I can't stand living alone either. Because I'm lonely, that's why. I never thought of you being lonely. You have so many friends. Friends go home at 11 o'clock. Come on, Florence, I'm proposing to you. What do you want, a goddamn ring? If you really need it all, there's a lot I could do around here. I could turn this place into something out of Architectural Digest. Florence, Sports Illustrated is fine with me. I want to do something. Let me do something, Olive. All right, tomorrow you can build me a terrace, anything you want. You'll eat like you never ate before. You like hot Russian blinis or shelf slip Caucasian? I'll make it for dinner. You don't have to cook. I like eating out. Breakfast and dinner at home. We'll save a fortune. We'll eat it because I'm not taking one single penny from Sydney. Wait a minute. Let's not be hasty. You told me to have self-respect. How am I going to have self-respect if I take money from Sydney? Money is the one area where self-respect doesn't work. I'll show him. I'll show him I don't need him. That's Sydney. I can tell ice cream. Hello? Oh, hello, Sydney. I am not here. You don't know where I am. You don't know where I'm at. I didn't get in touch with me. You don't know where I am. I'm not here. Yes, she's here. Why would you tell him that? Did I tell you not to tell him that? Yes, she told me everything. How does he sound? Is he worried? Does he want to talk to me? Because I don't want to talk to him. Oh, yes, I agree with that, Sydney. You agree with what? Don't agree with him. I'm your friend. I can't believe you agree with him. Well, personally, Sydney, I think she's taking it very well. I am not taking this well. <laughs> you called this taking it well? I'm taking it like a crazy person. Yes, I know. You've been wonderful that way, Sydney. God bless you. What do you mean, God bless you? Don't God bless him. He sneezed. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ask if he wants to talk to me. Uh, Sydney, would you like to talk to her? Give me the phone. I'll talk to him. No, you don't want to talk to her. He doesn't want to talk to me. Yes, I know. I understand. You're completely right. Absolutely. Well, you take care, Sydney. Goodbye. He didn't want to talk to me. No. Then why did he call? He just wanted to make sure you're all right. He did? He said you're a wonderful mother and wife. He said that? What else did he say? It was nothing. What else did he say? Not what else did he say? But as a woman, you're crazy as a bed bug. <laughs> oh, really? As if the short, hairless cowboy said, we'll tell him he'll never find another woman like me if he lives to be a thousand. Which bedroom do you want? One you can see in New Jersey, the other you can see a guy who sleeps naked. You know, I'm glad. Because he finally made me realize it's over. It didn't seem good until just this minute. You want some sleeping pills? Take some sleeping pills. I can't swallow them. You can suck on them all night. <laughs> I don't think I believed him until just now. My marriage is really over. Florence, let's go to bed. I have another career besides you. <laughs> Doesn't seem so bad now. I mean, I think I can live with this thing. Good. Live with it tomorrow. Go to bed tonight. I will. I just want to start rearranging your life. Get things in order. Uh, do you have pads I can make on menus for the week? No menus. Don't plan my food. Don't want to make any promises to a roast chicken. You'll Please go to bed. You'll appreciate it in the morning. Once I get this junk out of here, you'll see furniture you never knew you had. Go on. Go to bed. I'll see you for breakfast. I can't sleep if I hear you in here. If you want to clean something, go downstairs and clean the elevator. Ten minutes. That's all of you. I promise. Olive? What? You must have been awful living here by yourself without anyone. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes permission. Please feel free to use the facility. Thank you. Thank you, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs>